maybe he's a, a very, uh, like a good judo player, likes to work from reverse case of position. Here like this, from here, he's ready to mount, right? So now, with this arm here, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna take my hips here. See, from here, I can do this if I want to, right? I can defend all day long, but from here, now, it's a, uh, the chess match is one, one move for one. You see? You have to think what? Plus one, plus two ahead. So from here, take this, take your legs, put it over. Beg him to, to mount you. From here, this elbow here, you have to maintain the frame here, just like this, right here. He doesn't feel threatened here. If I don't maintain this frame just like this, and I have my hands high, he's gonna scoot up even higher. Now, can I do the position? No, so you gotta keep your elbows nice and tight, down here, just like this. Now, this elbow is close to my what? Ribs. Ribs. Remember gooseneck grips. Here. Just like this here. So when he starts to mount, go ahead and start to mount. See what he does right there? You guys see that? <laughs> Creates a little space right there. It's a tiny space, but with that space, I'm going to capitalize. Go back. So from that space, I'm going to use this elbow as a wedge. And he's going to go ahead and he's going to mount. Right there. And I shrimp. And I, and I get my knee out. Turn my hips. Here. And quickly, as I turn, what am I going to do with this arm? Shoot under here, like this. And then, what do I have? I have his back. Now this here is hard to get sometimes. So from here, I just like to get this grip here. And if I need to, I'm gonna stretch him out. Then, I'll get my hook. You guys understand? Uh, let me show you. So, Professor has me in half guard, okay? And we're in this position here. Now, if I'm here like this and I'm fighting, right? Then it's 50-50, it's, it's right? Like this here, okay? Now, there's different ways to get this, uh, this uh, hook inside over here. I can frame, escape my hips here, and then turn like this. Or if I want to, I can get my hand through here, grip, pull, and now I have my hook in just like this, okay? But now we're here, all right? And this, he's a big guy. I want him to feel like he can attack my arm or start to work for another position. And the way I do that is by taking this arm and then bringing it around here like this. Now he can turn his arm and what's he gonna start to do? Attack my arm. Now for a lot of people, they're like, why are you doing that? You don't wanna do that, right? Yes, I do, okay? Because I want him to turn his hips, just like this here, okay? So from here, I'm gonna maintain his grip. grip. What grip is this? Gooseneck. Gooseneck grip, here, just like this here. Now we're gonna keep it simple for now. But from here, I'm gonna maintain my hook, okay? And from here, I'm gonna take my hand and I'm gonna turn just like this, right here. Now from this position, I'm gonna kind of balance a little bit with my head, I'm gonna push off, here. I'm gonna pass, and I get to side control, okay? Go right here, stick your hand, elbow tight, escape my hips, he starts to attack my arm, come on, here. Yeah, my hook, just like this here, okay? He might even want to mount, but you know, uh, let's not uh, consider the mount right now. So here, I'm gonna pull him up with my sticky hand. I'm gonna look up with my head, just like this. Look at all that space. I'm gonna lift with this leg here, you see? With all my, uh, uh, with my hands and my knees, to, uh, my foot together, I can lift him up. Transition, turn my hips. Get my hook in, here. Here, reach it. Get my grip. Now, I've taken his back. Understand any questions? No? You want to give it a shot? Yeah. Okay, very good, guys. Uh, professor, anything to add? No. Okay, hands up! One, two, three!